Hi sweetlings, it's me again, Yuri, and welcome to my channel. And again, to those who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're not here because you're new to the algorithm, welcome, welcome, welcome also. If you're new to the algorithm, thank you so much. You're the man. Right. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about YouTube analytics. And I just think that knowing the basic and the fundamentals of YouTube is essential if you're trying to grow your channel organically. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, second to Google. If you say search engine, dito yung mga tao na search kung ano yung mga hinahanap nila, mga information na hinahanap nila. YouTube also has different features that you can, you know, actually see but um, malimit lang yung mga tao bumisita sa mga, mga part na yun ng YouTube, especially the YouTube analytics kasi nga uh, ang daming numbers and what's the numbers are all about. So today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I've learned about YouTube analytics and if um, you're interested, please continue. For you to better understand, let's go to my channel. We are already on my channel. Let's go to sort by and let's click the most popular videos so as you can see you can see the reaction videos is the most viewed videos here on my channel they was on my phone and they work from home and so let's see the most let's click the most viewed video here and that is my Lisa reaction videos and let's go to its analytics yung video ni Lisa um, trending siya no one month ago I think so for you to better understand, let's compare the um, analytics from one month ago to now. So, as you can see here on the right uh, upper portion, you can see the April 2020 up until now since published. You can actually click that and change from last 7 days and last 28 days. So, let's click the last 28 days first. So, as you can see... There is the overview, the reach, engagement, and audience. So um, let's go ahead first with the overview. This is the face of the overview. 414 views. So no mga time na yon, like one month ago, we've gained 414 views with 5.1 watch hours. And um, we also gained the audience retention of 14.5%. This is a live update. So. The video is still appearing to channel pages, the browse features, suggested videos, and YouTube search. These four um, terms here, I need you to take note of that. That is our traffic source. So let's compare the overview from last seven days ago. So as you can see, ang laki ng drop niya. We only gained seven, I mean 17 views and 0.1 watch hours. Yung drop niya is 26% and 58% sa watch hours compared to last 28 days. Dahil nga, trending pa nung mga videos ni Lisa nun, nung dance cover niya ang laki ng gain natin. Compared to 7 days ago na hindi na masyadong um, you know, trending yung video ni Lisa kaya wala na masyadong nagsisearch sa video niya. So that's why we gain a, you know, a huge drop. Yeah! And this happened Sunday, May 10, 2020 na wala talaga tayong nag-gain na views. Zero talaga. <laughs> so let's go ahead to reach. And again, this was last 28 days no mga no nag trending pa yung video ni Isa no mga time na yon. So we've gained here 9.96 impressions, um, 3.8 percent click through rate, 414 views, and we've gained 304 unique viewers, and the peak tayo no April 21 Tuesday. And, and because um, trending yung video ni Lisa noon, so most search siya. So it appeared to YouTube search mostly and we've gained 52.4%. And it also appeared to channel pages. It was also um, suggested by YouTube, most features. And um, that's the number that we've gained. 
and if you click the you know the see more here you can actually see and click the traffic source you can actually see how many views you gain per day equal 21 when you click your video natin it appeared to youtube search 52.4 percent and we've gained views 217 percent and channel pages 93 views 22.5 suggested videos 83 let's compare this to last seven days as you can see instead of appearing to youtube search last seven days hindi na siya most search video kasi nga hindi na siya trending nag appear na lang siya na mga channel pages and then second na yung youtube search and then sila suggest pa rin siya na youtube and then they appear in some browse features um, compared to last 28 days na talaga you know ang dami nag search ng video na yon and go back to reach first i want you to see this so that you would know bakit napaka if you're a small youtuber bakit napaka importante talaga na youtube search and if you and you need to know the basic of um, youtube seo kasi nga as you can see if you're, you're a small youtuber and you're you know trying to get views you should uh, you know give importance to the basic first this is the keywords as, as I've said, kasi nga, most search siya, da, dapat alam mo yung mga keywords. And, ang mga keywords na ginamit ko ay ito. I know that's, that's the same, but actually, it's not. <laughs> kasi, we're optimizing keywords here para mas search agad ng mga taong nagsisearch ng video na ni Lisa sa mga panahon na yun. Actually, I have an idea. Why not make another video and to show you guys how to you know fully optimize your keywords here on youtube para you know you can really catch those viewers or audience that you're trying to target so i'm gonna make another video so you guys watch it out so let's see to the engagement again and let's see the no, last 28 days non trending pa ang video ni Lisa. from the last 28 days engagement makikita mo na we've gained 5.1 watch hours and uh, 43 seconds average duration equivalent to the percentage of 14.5 yung audience retention makikita mo kung hanggang saan lang no retain yung attention ng mga viewers mo sa video na yon let me just show it to you guys you can actually you know click the see more here you can actually see saan siya nag peak so dito siya 46.5 percent siya nag peak sa 1.3 Dito siya nag -peak. Nag ang taas ng peak niya, 46.5. So, most of your viewers, yung chance sila naging engaged dito ang parte ng video mo. Here, I think I need to improve how I communicate with my audience kasi on the last part of the video, wala na siyang masyadong engagement. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually see. So, see, that's the beauty if you really, you know, try to dig deep into the YouTube analytics. You can see, you can observe which part of your videos that you need to improve. Ganon. So let's go back to the front and let's check from, you know, let's compare it to last seven days. Ang laki naman ang drop niya. Compared to 28 days, it came 5.1 to now 7 days. 58% yung drop niya. At hanggang 21 seconds lang yung duration niya. Nag-top siya ng 42-43% also. And same pa rin yung audience attention. Doon banda pa rin ng video mo sila engage. There is a trending video on YouTube of the small YouTubers like me. You really help to that trending videos. You know, just to gain viewers. And maybe turn that viewers into subscribers if they come to love you. So let's see it to the audience. It is also important um, you know your audience well. Because me, my niche is about work from home and mommy lifestyle. So I'm targeting a career-driven, the marrying individuals here. So I'm targeting 24 up age. So let's see if I have targeted the right viewers. 
here. Okay, from last 28 days, you've gained 304 unique viewers and the average views per average views per viewer is 1.3 but we've gained no subscribers and um, watch time from subscribers sa mga nag-subscribe sa yung channel 1.3% lang nun you know, nanood sa video mo but look 98.7% Hindi sila na, hindi yan mga nag-subscribe ng video mo. Nakita lang, yan, nakita lang nila yan sa channel pages nila, sa browse features, kasi sinerge nila. They are your, you know, prospective subscribers. So, you pay 98.7. Kaya nga, it's really important that you need to know first the basic of YouTube analytics. So, age and gender, I'm so happy that I've hit the age and gender na tina-target ko female 72% male 27.8 so mostly most of my viewers are female and i targeted the age of 25 to 34 years old so it's a good target and i targeted them 100% that's really 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 nice numbers there so let's compare this to seven days ago. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Because it's not trending. Seven days ago. Look, from 28 days, 304 to seven days. Seven lang. Seven unique viewers lang. And wala na siya masyadong engagement. Ayan. Wala na. So, I know this video is long. And I know there are part of the video that you're not really quite get it. If my part ng video ko na naku confused pa rin kayo, you can um, comment me down below. I'll gladly answer your question, guys. And maybe make another videos if my marami ako nakikita ng the same questions for you to better understand YouTube analytics. So that you would also apply this on your YouTube channel if my YouTube channel kayo and grow your YouTube channel, you know, subscribers and viewers. So, see you on my next video and have a great day. Bye-bye, sweeties. -bye.